Law and order are meant to rule supreme in the courtroom, and for the most part, they do. On occasion, though, it can become spooky, wild, and downright unpredictable. When you consider what's at stake, it's not difficult to see why. However, you'll be taken aback by these 12 amazing courtroom moments captured on camera. And sure, some of these are not safe for work, so if you're around someone with sensitive hearing, heed that warning. 1. Alien? The last place you would expect to hear a judge make a racially charged comment to a person of color is in court, but that's exactly what happened in an Essex County, New Jersey court in January 2010, as the judge suggests the Latina woman defending her client is an illegal alien. To her credit, the woman handled this tactfully yet assertively by leaving the courtroom and giving the judge time to consider what he'd said. 2. Nicole Soto When Soto received her penalty in front of the sentencing judge in February 2013, she appeared to be affected by Xanax. With her unprofessional approach and continuous laughter at the judge as he tried to engage her in conversation, the young woman significantly worsened the situation. It stops being hilarious when she hears the full brunt of her punishment, and she answers with some inventive sign language. Naturally, things get worse, and yes, she did eventually apologize. 3. Contreras Monica This video of Monica Contreras describing a sexual assault by a court official went viral in August 2011. After conducting an investigation, law enforcement officials determined there was enough evidence to dismiss court-martial Ron Fox. Not Contreras' outburst, but the fact that she was falsely detained by the same man who attacked her is what makes the video particularly troubling. Judge Patricia Doniger was watching this happen while ignoring Contreras and spending time with her small daughter. 4. Defender vs. Judge Duel It Out Florida Judge John Murphy and Assistant Public Defender Andrew Weinstock got into a verbal altercation in June 2014, but the mouth-to-mouth -mouth outburst in the courtroom quickly changed to mano y mano combat. Although the actual argument takes place off-screen, you can hear it, and by the sound of it, Murphy prevails. The public defender for the 18th Judicial Court, Blaise Tretis, stated that the lawyer claimed that as soon as he entered the corridor, he was grabbed by the collar and started to be struck. There was no time for anything, even conversation or discussion. The lawyer was grabbed as soon as they entered the hallway, according to Florida Today. Murphy later took a leave of absence and apologized publicly, but not directly to Weinstock, T.O. Farmer. One of the most exciting prospects in the country for both collegiate and professional basketball was Tony Farmer. Before attacking his ex-girlfriend in front of a security camera, he had a promising future. Farmer did not react well to the news that he will miss his prime basketball years because of a three-year prison term imposed in August 2012. This surely puts into perspective the most recent slap on the wrist for Ray Rice. 5. Enrique Terteltki Ernie Tutelage, a 52-year-old, self-employed lawyer who calls himself the living natural man, was found in contempt of court in August 2013 for making several outbursts before the jury was even chosen. Yes, that is how he spells it. Why is an American courtroom asking questions to a British-recognized esquire? The judge was asked. After that, things get really strange. Terteltke's failure to obtain a license for his fishing was the sole reason he was ever in court, H.R. Wine. A three-year-old boy who was brutally tortured by Harvey Wintz, 22, and who is currently serving a prison sentence, had nearly 18% of his body burned. In May 2013, when Wintz learned he would receive a sentence for up to 65 years, he sobbed in front of his present friends and family. One of the biggest courtroom outbursts on this list occurs in the video before the family's pastor helps restore order. 6. Dwight Johnson Dexter Johnson, a teenager from Houston, was 19 years old when he and other criminals committed rape and murder. In June 2007, after being tried and found guilty of capital murder, he displayed the violent behavior that led to his conviction. When Johnson's death sentence was read, his relatives yelled and sobbed. An ambulance was called when someone passed out. Johnson started toppling chairs until a swarm of officers knocked him to the ground. 7. Douglas Lance in May 2014, Lance Dyer, then 16 years old, led law enforcement on a car chase. He ran away on foot while pointing a loaded revolver at the police instead of giving himself up. His sister did not approve of the 11-year sentence, which she received. While Dyer's demeanor was generally calm and accepting, his sister, who isn't mentioned in the report, launches into a profanity-laced rant and struggles with police as they try to remove her from the area. She was dismissed without being charged, but the court forbade her from being in the room for the duration of the proceedings. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, 
consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. See you guys next time.